Hello! Today's video is going to be more on serial communications, uh, particularly uh, Norton Commander. Um, so, what we've got set up here is we've got my piece, uh, modular PC here. It's got a regular uh, V20 processor, 512K of RAM. It's got a I.O. card. It's got two serial ports, some, uh, a parallel port, a game port, um, and then a VGA card. Uh, as you can see, this is a 16-bit card. It's hanging off the end there. works just fine. What I've done, though, is I am actually connected over here to a modern PC through this USB RS-232 adapter. I had to install some drivers, it's uh, on COM5, I think. But anyway, then we come here to this null modem cable between the two. So connect it to COM1 over to COM5. And then I connected my mouse for a couple of reasons. One, to use it, but also to make sure that these uh, don't interfere with each other. I'm going to be using the little screen for my PC. I'm going to be using the large screen. For the modern PC. Gonna be using DOSBox on the modern PC. So here's the config file. Let's just talk about that for a minute. So when it boots up, let's zoom in just a little more. It has this little auto exec section here at the bottom. I'll just enter that up a little bit. So to get the serial port the real serial port in DOSBox, you've got this section here, and you can see that it says serial 1 equals direct serial space real port uh, colon COM5. And that, because the, the PCs is using COM5, and then the serial 1 will actually put it as COM1 in DOSBox, so don't let that get confusing. Underneath that, I've got a folder. It's called DOS Games. It's I probably should have renamed that. It's just DOS Files. Um, it's on the C drive in the root directory of this PC. And I mount that as H. And then I go to there. I mount a floppy drive. We're not really using that. And I mount a hard drive that's got DOS 6.2.2 on it. So let's just uh, boot everything up here. Let's make everything full screen. And you can see serial port, got our H drive. So that's an actual directory on the PC. And then mounted our images. And this hard drive image actually is the same hard drive image I'm using on my modular PC. So, let's just uh, see what's in here. We've got NC551, that's Norton Commander 5.51. So, let's go there. Now, over here, it's going to be harder to see, but we're booted up. I'm going to, this one I've got it in a directory called Norton. Anyway, it, it doesn't matter on the little one today. It's just so I can read it. We'll just go back over here. So, give you a little bit better view. I'm going to start Norton Commander, just NC. I'm going to start it on the other PC, so doing the same thing. Now, this one's definitely faster. We got our mouse. Uh, the little PC is just a touch slower. So to link these together, I like this a lot better than interlink and interserve. Um, with that being said, uh, interlink and interserve would most likely work in this setup. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute, but this is kind of nicer in a way. It's kind of a little bit more of a graphical interface or kind of a simulated graphical interface. So anyway, we hit F9. You got your right panel and your left panel. Let's just keep it simple and go on the left panel. You got your link, COM1, 
master, link, and hit enter. Now it's waiting to connect. Now I'm going to do the same over here. F9. I'm just doing the exact same thing. Link, COM1. And instead of master, I'm going to select slave and link. So now it's just waiting. Okay, they just connected. Now, I'll just pan back over for a minute. There's this little box that's on the screen that just says processing, and that's going to stay on that PC. You really can't do anything on the, uh, the Slate PC other than just it's got that interface box on there until you exit the link. So, what we're looking at is the directory that I started Norton Commander in on my, uh, my modular PC. And you can see that says C colon backslash Norton, and this one says H colon NC551. So let's uh, go up a directory here, go up a directory here. There can be a little lag, you know, I don't know what the baud rate is. Um, there may be a way to set it. I don't know that much about this program. I've been just playing around with a little bit today. So we're in the root directory here, we're in the root directory here. So this is a legitimate directory right here on this uh, modern PC, and this is the USB. Now, before we get too much in that, yes, you can just take the USB drive, that's why I use it, plug it into your modern PC, copy the files to it, and you're good to go. But this is more about just testing and proving that the serial uh, communication works correctly. So, anyway, so we'll, uh, we'll select the, uh, let's try to get the left panel here. Um, Set F7 to make a directory. We'll call it a uh, test. That should make a directory. There you go, test. Now on the other screen, it's not showing anything except for the, uh, the link box still. So nothing to really see over there. The mouse helps in this program. Double click. Um, these are some games. Uh, let's, let's just copy Digger over. You can just drag it. And you can see it says copy digger.exe. Comes up with this window. It says link C colon backslash test. Uh, copy newer files. We'll just go ahead and uh, copy. It'll take a second or two. All right, it says one file copied. So, so many bytes. There you go. And now this says digger. So, that's kind of, you know, I'm not sure what other features this has, but that right there, just, just showing that it uh, communicates back and forth, that's pretty neat. Not seeing just right off an easy look to say see what the baud rate is um not too worried about that right now just gave me an error so to end the uh, connection state f9 right, let's try something so the right screen okay link start blacked out so we can't do that okay i was still wondering if you could link twice there. So we'll just select here, we'll just hit link, it says close commander link, yes. And then, it's not really worth panning over, well, we'll try. That little box is gone. And you can see, I'm actually left in that directory called test. And, let's just type dir, so you got that little command prompt right there. And it shows that Digger is in there. And then it's going to jump back to Norton Commander because we never exited it. It's all blurry, but there you go. Um, try to get that to focus again. There you go. So, same thing here. We could, uh, I'll just keep it on here for a minute. We'll just hit F9. Link. Com1. Master link. And I'm going to go on my other screen. I'm going to hit F9. 
link, com1, slave, link, waiting to connect. So now this one is the host. Sorry, it's a little angled here. Let's, uh, if we're going to do this, we'll just turn it and bring it in less angled. So now you can see linked uh, to C colon backslash games because that's where we were at on our panel when we linked. So when if you notice when we hit F9, there's a left and a right. That's for the panel. So I guess on the host, that's what side it's going to show it on. And on the slave device, it's going to show that as the... Uh, that's the one you're linking over. So. so it does host it just fine. Uh, the mouse over here does work. Let's, uh, let's just copy test. Do we able to drag it? There it goes. Copy test. Now this is going to the drive image that's on the modern PC. And it's saying include subdirectories, copy newer files only. We'll just go ahead and hit it. Enter to copy. This might take a second. I mean, I guess it's, it, the communication speed's the same, and the speed's probably slower than the read and write on the drive anyway. So really, you're waiting on the serial cable at most. So, there you go. It, uh, it worked. Now let's, uh, let's exit this link. I want to show one more thing. Uh, we just exited Norton Commander. We'll just start it back up. Oh, in the wrong directory. Start Norton Commander again. Now, I want to come over here. And... So this is running right on DOSBox natively. But, as many as you know... You can boot drive images on DOSBox. So let's boot C drive. So now we're actually running a actual copy of DOS 622 on DOSBox. Just show the version here. It was DOS 62. And we'll go to Norton because that's where it is on this one. We'll type Norton Commander. And we'll go ahead and F9. We'll go ahead and link. Com1 master link. Nine. So what this is showing is, is that uh, this is more of a DOS box feature. That serial cable that the real serial port on the uh, modern PC is being forwarded through DOSBox and you're booting an actual copy of DOS 622 and it still works. So I just wanted to show that it works both I guess you call like DOSBox in native mode and then DOSBox booting DOS. Now my mouse doesn't work because I didn't load any mouse drivers for uh, this uh, copy of DOS. So. Anyway, uh, thanks for checking out the video today. Um, if you made it this far in the video, uh, one announcement I guess you could say is I finally got my files on GitHub. Um, so that's where you'll find my schematics to my uh, modular PC and uh, I put all my PDF resource files. So the PDFs on like the 8088 processor, the system timer, uh, those are on there. I put in my BIOS code even though I don't use my BIOS for my PC, but my version is on there as a kind of a resource. Um, in the README file, there's a link to the BIOS that I use. So, on uh, GitHub now, so if you want to check that out, the uh, link will be in the description. So, thanks for uh, checking this out today.